What's up my neighbors, it's your bar with and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you the initial build of the Android 10 for Redmi Note 3 Pro or Kenzo. This is literally running on the latest Havoc OS 3.0. It's released by a Ukrainian dev by the name Magic X Magic Savvy. And as you can see, it's running the latest Android 10 with the number security patch it's here and version 10 so i'm going to show you all the files that you will need to flash this room and run it properly using magisk and the initial alpha gaps for the android 10 uh, i will leave the link for all of these in the description below First of all, you need to have a OS, then the Magix 20.1, and the Open Gaps um, 64 Nano. You can also use Pico, but I like using Nano. But you can use any of the two; it's completely your choice. So, and you will require the latest Orange Fox recovery. Here it is. I will leave a link for that also. And after you have flashed the room, flash caps and just reboot your phone and just set up your device and again reboot back to the recovery. Then flash this Magix 20.1 and there you go. You will have the latest Hyperquest installed with the Magisk. As you can see, I have installed the latest Magisk here. So let's go go through the all the customizations that are available on this room or the status bar brightness double tap to sleep network traffic is also there status bar of 4g icon multi status bar icons in the push settings we have all the basic columns rows <coughs> automatic brightness slider And main display is always also there, always on, music picker, lift to check phone, hand wave, all the basic stuff is there. Buttons, power menu, screen off, single tab. As you can see, it's pretty feature rich. Gestures is also there, jump on camera. I don't like it, so I'm turning it off. Gesture navigation. 2 button navigation, 3 button navigation. I am using the gesture navigation. You can also select the sensitivity from here. On the lock screen, we have double tap to sleep, media artwork, visualizer, pocket detection, status bar, charging info, all the good stuff is there. Notification, we have everything there. I like to turn on new application on connect and call waiting. So I get notified when I go. Call is incoming while I'm busy on the other call. Animations, okay. I don't like to change any of the stuff here. Battery saving, suspension is there. If you want, you can enable this. Enable aggressive battery, okay. We'll leave this leave there. Miscellaneous, wake up and charge, charge animation, okay. About its usual stuff. So, as you can see, it's pretty feature rich here. Let's go to the display and turn on the dark theme. Supported apps or those issues have been okay. Got it. No issues here. Live display is also there. Reading mode grayscale. So, as I apply the dark system wide dark theme, just let's just check if it's enabled properly or not. So, let's just open the place to. Yep, it's in dark, so yeah, the dark mode is enabled now. Mm, this app is not supported, but I guess if you use the Google Dialer, then it will also be in black. Files, yep, dark mode is also applied here. Let's check if Bolt is working or not. Let's just dial to the Geo help complaint number. Call just ended, so I guess the vote is 
not working here. Nope, not working. So now just click. Let's check the camera. Yep, camera is working and it's fine. Let's check the let's check the front camera also. Yeah, front camera is also working. Yep, it's captioning videos. Hopefully, it's captioning photo properly. So yeah, I guess most of the stuff is working here. There is no issue. Just that uh, it has it has a problem with the geo voltage but initially when i flashed it geo voltage was working i set up my google account got my verification code here also see so it was working but i don't know why it's not working right now maybe you can give it a try and test it out yourself so as you have seen that i am using the latest android 10 gestures here it's not inbuilt by default you have to just edit the system dot top for that i will show you in a, in a second how to do that just download any root explorer i am using mix explorer then go to root then system build dot top edit go to the bottom and just add this last 298 line dot main keys is equal to zero just add this save and reboot and you will be greeted with a the latest navigation bar after rebooting your phone then you can just from here edit add this hardware key quick tile and just enable or disable your hardware keys so that you can use your navigation bar easily so that's all that's all for this video guys if you have any doubt ask it in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe and like this video hope you guys enjoyed it let's see you in the next video